Good afternoon everybody, it's NCP. Haven't did a video in about two weeks. So, we need to uh, change these sockets out. Um, what they did <coughs> is there's two wire, two prong plugs here, and they just put three prong plugs in. So, you can't do that. So we're going to put a ground fault circuit interrupter, one of these in, <coughs> and we're going to make it safe. It won't have an equipment ground. You're supposed to label these no equipment ground and all that stuff, but I don't have the labels. They didn't come with it, so whatever. I know. <clears throat> this is just for me, my house, so do whatever I want. But this will upgrade the electrical safety, and we can use three-prong plugs. Um, eventually, I will run a ground wire and redo the whole wiring in this house and upgrade everything. But for right now, I, like I said, I'm still living out of boxes. So... <clears throat> when you get our computers up because I haven't been online. I've saw a few things on my cell phone and you know talk to people and stuff but I haven't posted any videos because I can't edit. So I'm just going to pause this one between things but basically we're going to just go ahead and do that and connect to the load. It's <clears throat> a real simple thing and it'll, we'll just put one in and it'll protect all the other sockets on that circuit branch or that we'll just call it the, um, the breaker on that breaker. So we'll go ahead and test the other ones in the house with the uh, the outlet tester to make sure they're off. Uh, I knew something was wrong because we had an open ground, which is just one amber light, I think. Yeah, one open ground, one amber light. <clears throat> and a lot of times when they flip a house, they'll take and run a, the neutral with a white wire to the little, well, here. <clears throat> okay. Neutral. Silver is uh, neutral. Uh, you can think of it as hot brass. For those of you in the loading community or firearms community, it's hot brass. It's easy to remember. But they run it from the silver or the neutral wire. They run a jumper from here down to the green lead or the uh, ground screw on this. And what will happen is your meter will say, oh, everything's just great. But what you're really doing is you're electrifying the neutral. Now, they are bonded at the, at the breaker box, but I'm not going to go into all that right now. But let me just go ahead and test the, how, the other outlets in the house, make sure they're off. And uh, I'll be right back. All right, so we're in the front room now. Apparently, the whole side of the house is on one circuit, which you know that's that's good, right? Two bedrooms and half of the the front room, and I guess the foyer or entranceway. But you can see that one's off. So let's go ahead and open that up. If I can get in there. And you don't need to wear any type of gloves and stuff. I just wear these because A, there's, there's weird stuff inside there. And B, it'll give me just a little bit of electrical protection. So there we go. Let me get in there for you. Ah, heck. There. You can see. I don't know. What the heck is that? I don't know. Let's take a look here. Let's get it out. All right, I believe that to be a dead circuit. I didn't see the thing cut in, so I believe that's a dead circuit. So let me go ahead and just pull this out. Let me get my glasses on. All right. That hurts some spark. Alright. It's dead. <laughs> I believe. Yeah, it's dead. You know, back in the day, there's no ground here, obviously. See how that's not right? So they did that shit? You can't do that. Back in the day, they took and um, there was a little, um, I don't know, a small gauge ground on these things. And I'll come back later, but you can you run from the hot to the, the box and see if we have power. And maybe in this case, continuity, I guess. Well, we shouldn't, it should be off, but the neutral on the ground. Let's see. 
Anyway, let's get this uh, let's get this taken apart. I'm gonna unscrew this, and we're gonna see if this is the the inlet one. So we'll disconnect the two hots on here and the neutrals, and turn the power back on, and we'll see which one. If one of these has hot on it, it's the end of the uh, the first lead in the the branch, the upstream. So I'll be right back. Let me pull this apart. I'll put some wire nuts on there, and we'll be right back. All right, so this would be our line over here, and this is our load, probably, probably, we'll see. Um, I'm gonna go in there and, and see if we can get it out. And uh, I'm gonna power up the circuit, and I'll be right back with my circuit tester. I suspect this will be hot, but I don't know. This house is weird, I don't know. So I'll be back. All right, so we're gonna see if this is hot. I suspect this is in line here. It's gonna be a live wire. So that hot is not active. There we go. So that's the first one in the branch. Um, so we know that now. So now I'll just go ahead and wire up the GFCI. Let me go turn the power off because I don't need to be enlightened. They just call us Sparkies. <laughs> I don't want to get shot. Takes half an amp to stop your heart. Or tenth of an amp. Uh, there's enough here. So let me go ahead and cut the line on this. And when I put this in, it'll, it'll protect everything down the line. So I'll be right back. Let me go turn the power off and be back. All right, I'm back. And that's not any good. All right, so we're good here. So now, turn this off. Now we're gonna just put in the GFCI on the line and load. This is the line. And I don't have any things to mark it because, you know, why would I? So, we're going to put in here, we're going to put the hot on the line side. So, the hot on the line side. And I'll uh, be right back with that once I get this hooked up. I'll be right back. Alright, so you just connect it like a regular outlet in this case. But this is the upstream one, so it'll protect all the ones downstream with the pops. Now, ideally, you'd put one on each one. And if I was being paid by the hour, I would. But this is a temporary fix. I mean, it's, 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 it's uh, code. To do this, uh, but I'm going to, um, like I said, rewire everything eventually anyway with uh, three and one or um, whatever. I can't think right now. The the proper the proper wiring. So I'm gonna just put this in now and put this back in, and we'll test it and see if anything pops or not. Hopefully it won't. Um, that's awful tight. I think I'll go ahead and do the, run the electrical tape around here. That's not code as far as I know. Um, I mean, the new code came out, but I haven't really went over it. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't really do a lot of this work anymore, so I do other higher things, but I'm going to wrap it around to make sure it doesn't connect. This is an older one. I should have got the slim line ones. I didn't think about it, but in the older houses, they have, they have tighter boxes and tighter tolerances, so we'll see. All right, I'll put this, just shove, I'm gonna shove it back in, and I'll be back. All right, so here we are. It's a scratch. It's set in there. We gotta go ahead and trip it or uh, untrip it. And there we go. We're good. No, wait. There we go. We're good. And if it faults, it'll just trip. If it cuts off, so we're good. So there we go. Um, like I said, there's no ground here, but it will fault at this unusual occurrence. Normally, they they ground. Um, but in this case, it'll just it'll just fault out. So there you go. That's an easy install for you to do to upgrade the safety of it. So if there's unnatural current between the hot and the neutral, it'll trip. Now, ideally, you want to ground, and when I when I do a ground, I'll do it. But like I said, this was really tight in there. I, I really got the wrong sockets, but I'll just go with them this time. But I need to rewire the whole house anyway. But there you go, guys. NCP. Uh, how to change a two-prong to three-prong and be code compliant instead of what they did. Now I've got to go fix some other ones. They've got the hot and neutral reversed, which is basically it's just the wrong sides here. They're backwards. That's not a big deal. Not worth the video, but yeah. Okay, so there you go, everybody. Since have a great day. And, uh, you want to make sure it kills everything down the line. So I went over here. I just plugged in one of my traces. So, that's why it's in the front room, I don't know. But, whatever. But let me get back over here. 
We want to make sure it kills it. Dead. All right, you hear that? There we go. Now we know it's working.